What's going on guys, it's Alone Courier here and I'm bringing you a quick little tutorial video on how to get better at free for all. Now I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the greatest free for all player in the world that I could totally kick Mark J's ass in a free for all. But you know, um, I started playing some free for all recently and I'm okay at it and I think it's basically a lot down to the class that you use. So I'm here just to recommend, you know, like a class just so you can fit in more with free for all players and so you can have more yourself on a balanced edge with those guys because they definitely use some weird setups. So yeah, let's just get started. So first perk, you're obviously going to want to run Ghost. If you don't run Ghost in this game, then uh, whatever. Uh, blind Eye. That's usually what I run, but Ghost is, like, it's crucial in free-for-all. I mean, there is a lot of aircraft, or, uh, there is also a lot of ground support, like, hardened sentries or Cerberuses, but you need to get around those, you know, maybe go a different path than those, unless they're in high-traffic regions, but, you know, Blind Eye, I use it, but I recommend using Ghost when you unlock it. I haven't perma-unlocked it yet, so I do not have it. Perk 2, you can go on full, like, noob mode here and put on Stalker. I'm only using, well, Tracker, that's what it's called. I'm only using Tracker so I can do the challenges for it, but... Uh, tracker, that's that's one that a lot of people use. So if you don't want to use Tracker, you can definitely use Hardwired. That will reduce your digital imprint against enemy Tracker perks. So yeah, that also hides you from Sixth Sense. Uh, you could use Sixth Sense if you want, but I personally find that to be far too nooby a perk. You know, it's just stupid. It's ridiculously easy to use tra uh, Sixth Sense. I personally, for my perk freeze, you want to take perk free greed here, so make sure you've got some room for it. You want to run Dead Silence and Awareness. That is the most crucial setup in Free For All. If you're not running Dead Silence and Awareness, then you're probably doing it wrong because Awareness... You know, it makes enemy footsteps louder, so you can hear people around corners, you can hear people for half the way a map. Don't think I'm recommending a scummy tactic here. Everybody uses dead silence and awareness in Free For All. Everybody does it. And if they're not, they probably don't really understand what perks to use in Free For All. So I definitely recommend using awareness and dead silence. Those two work together like bread and butter. It is so beautiful the way those two work together. And it's so important that you use those. I mean, when you're using dead silence, if someone's using awareness, it doesn't mean that you can be completely stealthy and they won't hear you uh your footsteps are definitely quieter than what they are normally so yeah um dead silence it does help you if they're not using awareness but if they're using awareness they can still kind of hear you so it's not like full-on ghost mode which um i'm i'm kind of glad and i'm kind of not glad that those two perks are back but you know uh i guess you could also use blast suppressor if you wanted to if you're more of one of those guys that uh, likes to boost around a lot, but personally, Awareness and Dead Silence, that's the two perks for me. Now, in terms of weapons and such that you want to be using, I definitely recommend it. You have a pistol with you. You need a pistol with you at all times. If you're not, have a rocket launcher. You'll always need one of those. Um, personally, for my class right now, since I'm so underleveled, I'm using the MR6. Normally, however, I would use either the LCAR 9s or the RK5s. Personally, for weapons, it, I don't really care about primary weapons, I use whatever, you know, because I'm doing Road to Gold right now. I usually only play free for all to get gameplays with my new golden weapon, so it's really varied the weapons I use. I'm not going to be doing every Road to Gold episode on free for all, but I will be doing a lot of them on free for all, you know, like weapons like the Gorgon, they won't be doing a episode. They will not get an episode on free for all because it's impossible to play with the Gorgon on free for all. Now anyway, it used to be okay, but now it's like it aims slower than what the SVG does, so you don't want to be using LMGs on free for all, that's for sure. Uh what I personally use for free for all, definitely either ARs or SMGs. You could probably use a shotgun if you want, but I hate shotguns in this game. David Vonderhaar made them so bloody OP and it's really annoying so yeah um weapons it depends what you want to use I mean personally for my last gameplay that I recorded I was using the CUDA with quick draw foregrip and recon that's okay but it's not good in every circumstance a really good one I like is the KM44 with a uh, quick draw stock and foregrip but you won't have room for that setup so just use the KM44 with the foregrip and the quick draw you could probably use a red dot sight on it as well um, I run no lethals or tacticals on my class, it's just what I prefer, I don't like being caught throwing stuff, so, yeah, if you want to make it a lot easier, which I like to make things easy, because, well, personally, 
Like, it's Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty is meant to be like a, a relaxing and fairly easy game, so I don't want to make it as hard as possible on me. So I use Vision Pulse for Outrider. There's no way to counter Vision Pulse, which is why I love it. Um, it is such an amazing, <laughs> such an amazing specialist ability. I guess if you weren't going to use that, either Glitch or Ripper would work really well. I don't really like using weapons too much in Free For All because they're usually quite big, you know, like the Tempest. Uh, War Machine, Annihilator, Sparrow, I don't really like using those weapons. The weapons I do like, however, are like the shorter ones, like the Ripper, or uh, I guess you could use the, the Purifier as well, that would work pretty well, but definitely either the Ripper or uh, Gravity Spikes if you're going to use them. Also another thing, it's how I've just said use Gravity Spikes, don't use Gravity Spikes on a single person. If you see one person there, don't use your Gravity Spikes on them, that's such a waste of a specialist ability. Uh, weapon even you know if you see a group of three people that's when you want to be using gravity spikes if you see a group of two people and you need to reload gravity spikes but if you see one person don't use the gravity spikes on them I, I get that so much and it is it's not just infuriating for the person on the receiving end of it it's also kind of like stupid and newbie so don't use gravity spikes on a single person if you're gonna use them, um, because you can drop some amazing feeds with gravity spikes. That's basically what they're built for, hard point feeds. So yeah, uh, gravity spikes, don't use them on a single person, but personally in my gameplays I've always run uh, Vision Pulse. I use Glitch a couple of times, but I personally prefer Vision Pulse because everybody else in Free For All tends to play like shitheads, so you know, if people are gonna play like shitheads then you may as well because you know, it's it's fair game, you know, this is, once you realise that Call of Duty isn't a game that's based on fairness, that's when you'll start to like it a little bit more. So yeah, that's just basically my class that I recommend using for free for all, depends what would suit you. I think this class is quite a good general build for free for all, it could also work good in team deathmatch, or kill confirmed, uh, depends. Uh, another thing is don't waste your points on a silencer either, I mean a lot of people don't use silencers, in my last gameplay I posted almost everybody except me was using a silencer, uh, it cuts down your range and it cuts down your damage too much for me to use it, and especially on some of the guns that I'll be posting videos on, but I guess if you want another weapon you could use, you could use the Razorback or the KM44 silenced, so yeah, it's really just up to you. Uh, I personally don't like taking up an attachment slot for silencer, so you know, it's whatever you want to use really. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video, it's been The Lone Courier, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.